Hey guys, welcome to part 9 of the Subaru Ice Racing Project. In this episode we continue with the 98 Legacy GT transmission swap and rear diff and a struggle with the rear Jesus bolts. And I'm talking about those long bolts that go through the rear knuckle and both control arms. So getting closer and closer and we do have an, an event coming up which uh, sadly we will not make the very first event of the season but we should make it to the next one so as always like subscribe and enjoy the video now this one this 98 transmission has less bolts over here so this is gonna get two less bolts mounting bolts four. to the engine so four right four or two I thought it was two, two less. So this one has extra, well this one has extra meat here, this is wider, these are just stronger, the casing is stronger and it's got extra mounting bolts so we don't have these on the 98. You know it's not like it's gonna get beat on. Alright. Guys I think we are good for once. So now this is temporarily, we still need a gasket over here, we gotta get that from the dealer. So this is going to go back off again. Well, just for testing purposes. All right, so go ahead, just pick a pick third or fourth. So I mean, this is first, right? Whatever. So so this does not go side to side. So which means it's not going to slip out. Go side to side. Yeah. The most Neutral is good. Yeah. So we, we do have side to side action going on. That's a reverse, right? It should make that sound. No, uh, pull out. Oh, that's, that's that's reverse. Good. That's reverse. Always makes that different sound. Okay, so yeah, no idea what what's next. Well, obviously, put this back together. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna order some parts tomorrow. And hopefully, the speed sensor will work. Yeah, we did. This is the speed sensor from an O6. They actually fit, but this uh, this little tab that makes a turn was a little short uh, shorter than the 98 and we couldn't take it out out of the 98 this is what I'm talking about this guy here so on the L6 it's a tiny bit maybe an eighth of an inch maybe even more shorter sticks out less is what I'm saying so we're gonna take this stud out and just drill a hole through because there are threads inside drill this out and mount it to the block because right now it's just you know the starter this guy mounts to the block and this guy will just mount to the transmission the starter so that's a little mod modification you gotta do and this just fit right in no modifications needed for the springy thingy still gotta take these out we have an idea throw out there this guy this shaft this shaft here is worn i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that yeah you see actually goes down here in this area and this is where it, mm, that's maybe. bad actually this is bad this is where it gets wobbly because there it's fine but here it's yeah so hopefully something like this exists they have they do have it yeah but i think you have to order uh, the whole kit uh, like a kit with a with throw out bearing? bearing that's fine i mean you know the we're in throw -out bearing will be different you know ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different uh, inside diameter. All right. Uh, see you next update. One week later, right? It's been a week. It's been a week. We've been waiting on parts. We got gasket, gasket. That's all we got. Okay, so we, we started. Return, return bearings. Oh yeah, we returned the bearings for the other transmission, and we've been cleaning the surfaces to. Uh, you know started putting all this back together and then look here noticed again that this bearing is making noise and there is clay as you can see so we took it apart I mean seriously we gotta start checking our things so you take this plate off and there's a C-clip. I'm gonna take that off, take the bearing out, and replace it. We gotta. We're gonna order it today. Oh, you just cleaned it? Okay. 
So yep. when, when we just took this off, there were uh, a lot of quite a bit of metal shavings kind of like in one corner. So this confirmed sure. yeah, this, this stuff here. So this confirmed the uh, bed bearing in here. So yay, we're going to put this uh, back anyways. I'm going to apply RTV on the surfaces and then apply actually on this surface, apply the gasket. Okay, we did have had a little bit of RTV here and there. You can actually still see where the bolts used to be. So apply RTV, gasket on, more RTV on the gasket. And then this, and then we're gonna, oh yeah, then we're gonna uh, replace the differential. But as you may know, we're gonna have trouble removing these long bolts. They're known to get stuck where the bushings are. So what we're thinking to save the bushing, this is the other end of the long bolt, goes through the knuckle and that's where it's stuck, right inside there. So we're gonna cut it halfway, cut the bolt, then I remove this, the bolt that holds the link on the other, on the inside by the diff and then remove the whole arm and then try and press this out and try and save that bushing. Okay, you guys, a very, very thin, could even be thinner than this, a film of RTV, both sides. Remember to make it nice, you get one shot at it. So I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, let it dry up a bit, probably up to four minutes, I think. You, you have to wait and then apply the gasket on this side and then and that's gonna go right there all right guys so as you can see this shaft is out before you you gotta press that out before you do wait one way there is a c-clip here that sits right there on the shaft that's like that wait is this yeah like that okay and this you gotta press that out, out of the bearing. So put like a 19 deep socket, whatever, put in the press and just work the, the shaft. Now, now it's out. Before that, you gotta take the make clip sure, out. Make sure to tell him not to press the bearing out. Yeah, don't press the bearing. Only get a small enough socket just to go over this, so not the bearing. Because when you take that shaft out, from here, we're gonna be presented with another C-clip, which is this guy, this larger so C-clip. So I'm gonna take this out and then uh, press the bearing out. Okay, so this bearing, just I just tapped it out. It was very easy. It is quiet, but it does have play to it. It's $25? 28. 28 with tax, so might as well. Yeah, we're actually not sure of the mileage on this transmission. It's a high mileage. For sure. High mileage? High mileage. Yeah. So yeah, chances are in those shavings in the uh, that case, that plate, whatever, yeah, indicates that you should replace it. Update. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So it's been hours. It's been... It's been all day. That's the, that's the broken one. Where's the other one? The other there one is. is broken too. Okay, so this is still not together. We're waiting on parts, blah, blah, blah. We tried for at least three hours to take these out. And we found out that these are either on C-clips more or less in this part and it just kind of the secret when you pull on it, the c clip goes in and you, you're able to take these out or sir clips or c clips whatever other evil evil clips uh, the evil clips are on the inside you got to take the transmission apart take the diff out and then uh, you're able to take those out and which is this most likely because i mean we've tried we we actually tied this transmission no, don't tell them. Don't tell them. 
we tied it to the lift with straps and wooden blocks we tried uh, pulling on it with a uh, or actually we had a chain chain uh, attached to the stubs we've tried with a uh, air gun didn't work then we tied it up to the lift we actually got a don't tell anybody an AutoZone where is it AutoZone CVXO 4 and 98 which actually has a removable removable XL stub so this came without this stub but luckily for us with a pin so we actually pretty much installed the XL put the pin in and tried prying it out for an hour didn't work so uh, we kind of stopped doing that and we uh, started taking the diff out so we're at this point the reason why this is like that we're gonna try and knock this long bolt out without damaging the the bushing so the plan is to well i'm going to show you later when, when we get to it but right now we're just removing the axles the other side removing the the diff as you can see everything is apart again and uh, what else when they call the dealer to order that long bolt reference it as a jesus bolt oh yeah yeah dealer and other super shops call these long bolts the Jesus bolts. They're like 20 bucks, 30 bucks a piece? Yeah, 20, 30 dollars a piece. We found them on Rock Auto for a dollar, for, for, that, for 10 dollars a piece. Yeah. Oh man, uh, this is getting serious, guys. This diff is ready to go. That's from, from the 98. These bolts are torqued. Not gonna replace any seals for now. We can do it later. We will, though, you know, put those new bolts in, so replacing or removing axles later on is going to be easier. Hopefully. Hopefully. And guess what? We have a, an event uh, in one week, right? One week? Yep. Coming out. Uh, is it Sunday or Saturday? I don't know. Over the weekend. Yeah, it's over the weekend. So it's Saturday now. Uh, I mean, by the time you're going to watch this, uh, this video, it's going to be probably a month. I don't know because I'm way behind on those videos but uh, we're trying it's just you know oh yeah uh, this is what I was gonna say we ordered I'm gonna order tomorrow axles for the front for an O2 WRX supposedly they have they come they they you know they have those removable stubs and they have the ABS, the ABS rings which is which is this here so on ours on the 06 this is not removable so there is a pin that goes right through it and that 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 would that becomes the stub so these these are the easy ones see these are this is what i was talking about this is just kind of you can just pry it out so on most likely on the the 98 transmission there are those inside c clips so we're waiting on that one bearing for the transmission uh, we're waiting on, we're gonna get those axles, we're waiting on clutch. the, oh yeah, we did order a clutch kit with the pressure plate clutch plate. So we're gonna show you if you have, if this part of the shaft, the snout is damaged, which is on this one, which it is on this one, then there's a sleeve that goes over it. Uh, the throat bearing is a bit uh, uh, oversized on the inside. And that goes on the on the sleeve so that's gonna get fixed this got drilled out one of these got drilled out update so all it is it's, it's it's just hanging on the parking light or parking light parking brake line so I don't feel like taking that apart it would be nice I could put it in the in a vise or a press and try and press this out but decided not to started knocking and uh, got nowhere as you can see so uh, i had it more or less like this and uh went to town now i'm trying to cut it out but i ran out of room as you can see i'm ever so slightly cutting into the knuckle uh, so i'm gonna try and break this apart and it should basically break apart and this piece will come out this way and this well this part will just come out because that's that's actually spinning 
so it's just stuck in there. Once I have get this out with the bolt, I'm gonna put in a press and press it out, hopefully. Oh yeah, look at and this. Look at this. Lucky job. son of a... <laughs> the other side just came out. And this is where it's rusted, on this side. And that the left side wasn't even rusted at all. You know, I should have picked that side. Hey. Diff is out. This is not. Well, it is halfway. Took a grinder. A small wheel. Cut it in. As far as I could without cutting it. Well, I did cut into the knuckle a bit. Then knocked it out from the inside. This piece. Messed up the bushing so that that's going to have to get replaced. And it seems like it's still it's stuck in this part of the knuckle as well and i cut a notch right here and using the air hammer still not coming out so i'm gonna have to heat this part up burn the bushing take this out and replace both both bushing switching or no seal is Feels like rubber, this one feels like plastic. These plates? No, you're gonna mess up the the lash. Okay, now we just well we can you know get new seals from the dealer. We're waiting on parts anyways. What's what's like three days more? I don't know. I will just leave it and then uh hope for the best. You can't switch these. Not sure if you're gonna see this, but there is a kind of looks like a spacer in between this plate and the actual diff you can see one here yeah, there's one here too. There's yeah a, so there's a few here right? right so those act as they move these plates uh, left or right and on these plates on the inside oh, uh, there's, a, there's race. a race yeah oh, there's okay. a bearing race and that uh, this way you adjust the lash you know ring gear to the pinion gear left and right i think there's a video on it by me link somewhere here so now I guess Luke is going to pounder on if I should <laughs> replace the seals or not. No? No. No? So this is the one that came out, the studs came out with it, which is good news. It's uh, easier to take out without that uh, uh, brace or whatever. So we're going to have to switch these out, take these out. Mm -hmm. I, I think Lucas is, uh, he's, he's, he is poundering after all. What do you think? I think we should replace it. Ah. <laughs> I actually called AutoZone on these, they don't have them. We can try Napa tomorrow. It's Sunday tomorrow. It's almost 9. Man, oh. I think it's... Uh, it's yeah, time, wife, time to call is not gonna be happy. No. I still can't believe that this bolt came out. But finally, it looks like a Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most of them are like that. <laughs> I mean, mine mine was like that for 11 months or less. No, less. No, less because I spent three months uh, breaking the engine. So maybe seven months. But his is uh, nine years and going. All records broken. Still gonna refresh the flywheel. It's not it's not cracked. It's just slightly, you know, worn. Uh, so to bring it back. All you gotta do is take uh, sandpaper, uh, most likely probably like 600, 600 grid, slightly massage it, kind of in circles go around, should be good. Okay, so we're just gonna leave everything like this again and leave. <laughs>